Today's screening is at the Pope location in North St. Louis. You do need to make an appointment, but the screening is free. We have a link to the information on the Fox 2 and KPLR 11 mobile apps. Huh. A new way to treat cancer has been found. It's the Oral Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation. Yeah, the Oral Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation was created by Dr. Hadia Nicole Green. The St. Louis native was raised by her aunt Oral Lee, and when Oral Lee lost her battle with cancer, Dr. Green made it her mission to find cures. Dr. Green is a physicist who specializes in laser technology to target and treat malignant tumors. Uh, we are happy that she is joining us now. Dr. Green, this is a fascinating information about a new way to treat cancer yes. and you were motivated by your aunt's health situation. Yes, so my aunt who raised me from age four, when she announced that she had woman's cancer, she said that she would rather die than experience the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation. I was her primary caregiver the last three months of her life and I saw how she suffered at the hands of cancer. Then three months later, my uncle who raised me was diagnosed with cancer. He opted in for chemo and radiation. I was his primary caregiver. And I saw firsthand how he suffered with the side effects of chemo and radiation. So it fell upon my heart that there has to be a better way. And I had interned at NASA, University of Rochester Institute of Optics, and I had graduated with a 4.0 in physics and said, maybe I can use lasers to target and treat just the tumor so people wouldn't have all of the side effects of chemotherapy and radiation. Well, what made you decide on using uh, testing lasers and how are the trials going with lasers? What, so, are, the, what so, are you seeing as the results? So this is a good question. So my background in physics and optics was the inspiration along with being the caregiver for my loved ones. And I have demonstrated in laboratory mice complete elimination of tumors after one treatment with no observable side effects. So we're in the process now of raising money to begin human trials through the Oralee Smith Cancer Research Foundation. So we are a tech-based nonprofit and we haven't begun human trials yet. We're raising money to do so now. It, it sounds like this might be revolutionary. Am I over exaggerating here? <laughs> no, you're not. I may understate it a little bit. Um, but there is nothing else like it on the market. And our goal is to keep it affordable and accessible for all, which is why I decided to start a nonprofit to raise the funds instead of going the for profit route because I didn't want a situation like the EpiPen to happen with my technology. So you have your lab here in St. Louis, and you're doing this work here? Oh, actually, I live in Atlanta. Oh, I, I'm sorry. I came home this weekend. I'm being inducted into University City High School's oh. Hall of Fame tonight. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. So your work is being done in Atlanta. Yes. W what about other cancer research organizations and institutes? Are they noticing your yeah, work? So I'm an assistant professor. I'm a faculty member at Morehouse School of Medicine, mm -hmm. and my technology is housed at the Advanced Technology and Development Center. It's the state of Georgia's tech incubator. We're actually the only nonprofit in the state of Georgia's tech incubator. Okay. Yes. And you have an event uh, coming up this weekend? Yes. So on Sunday at Windows on Washington, mm -hmm. we're having a meet and greet for people who may want to learn more about the Ora Lee Smith Cancer Research Foundation and the work we're doing. And if they have questions, they can go to oralee.org. And the event on Windows on Washington on Sunday, October 6th, is from 2 to 4 p.m. All right. Dr. Green, good luck with your research, and congratulations on the success so far. I'm sure you'll be getting a lot of questions about it. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Coming up next, a AAA says there's no substitute for an alert driver. The study done by